Hey guys, War Games here, and welcome to another stream featuring London City Lapsa. So, how are you today? I'm not bad, mate. Uh, what about yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing quite good. <coughs> just, good. just been checking. Whoa. Just been checking out the five one three uh, lately. Yeah, five one three. The um, you know the bus route that never runs. Has run once each day. Um, once, I mean, like. As it once, as in it runs once to downside, then once to Kingston, and the frequency used to be bad, but this is just yeah. just takes the piss, really. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. I mean, Lotus. Uh, it, I mean, we we recently um, started talking about Lotus in our previous streams, and suddenly, oh my gosh, nowhere, tell me all about it. There's an early access, literally. I saw Are you someone joking? posted um, a comment saying, like, oh, um, how do you do this control on uh, Lotus? And I was like, oh, what was this supposed to mean? And then someone else put a comment saying, um, oh, I'm getting a solid 60 on Lotus. And I'm just like, oh, he must be one of the developers then. And I thought to myself, why would they make an account within, you know, those forums? Because there was, like, specific forums with yeah. um, <coughs> people on it. And then um, I saw a, a a link to an early access version of Lotus. Is it? And I'm very pleased to say that it's the best thing I've ever seen in early access. So does it look good? And obviously I'm lying through my teeth. It's actually anything but the best you can get for an early access. Oh but, no. Um, yeah, you get one tram, one route, which is so linear you could literally only see buildings and um, artificial looking roads. And you basically that's that's basically what you get, and it's thirty two quid. And are you gonna get it? <laughs> I find it I find it quite uh, ridiculous that they're gonna charge. It's like what Nintendo were doing. They're so greedy for money. They think they can just ask anyone for um, for money, um, just because. Oh yeah, we can see that we're doing well in business, so let's try one on. Absolute madness. Can see through that now, and it's like. I don't know why they're still trying this really dodgy business practice of just I don't know I just don't I don't get it I don't get why they think it will work because it doesn't. Sure. Mm. <coughs> I I hope yeah. like I hope the game's good. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, they me can, too. Yeah, yeah, they can get away with this early access thing. But what I do say is, as long as the game's good, you know, I'm I'm in. And considering like considering it's not even like a big game i feel like the price is a bit steep yeah yeah i agree um i mean when i saw 32 quid price tag i was just like are you are you all right yeah <laughs> like you know and are you, are you like yeah and say if it was like 20 pounds <laughs> or and, and also first of all can i just say what would what's the kind of price bracket you were looking for for you to buy it 15 quid at least i mean that's i mean even that's asking for a bit too I, it's, it's what you get in the game yeah like in any game it's what you get in a, you know yeah, even if it's only access because sure, you need sure, to make sure. good first impressions at the minute their first impressions are complete crap <laughs> i mean you know i don't know i don't know how else to judge it i mean i've yeah, actually course, played it course. so i don't want to sort of you know go off on a tangent but no, it's, just, no, 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 <laughs> it's no. not very really good <coughs> yeah, it's 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 really poor, and I just want to say, I, you know, I really do hope that it's going to be a good game. So that's all I can say. As long as as long as it's a good game, I don't care. So if it was fifteen pounds, would have you bought bought it? Um, probably not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. To be honest, really, um, just to test it out and you know, just test out the capabilities that it promised me. What I don't want is that for the release of it to be complete crap. Um, of course. You know, obviously, I mean, I don't think anyone wants it to be complete crap, but it's, you just need to make sure sometimes, that especially before buying a product like that, that's that expensive. I mean, 32. I don't know where they got that price tag from. Uh, you know, you just need to keep making sure that what you see is what you get, rather than, oh, shit, I've just spent... <laughs> 
32 quid on an eight, eight minute. Because if I hadn't seen those comments, I would have spent 32 quid on something that's so linear. Fair enough. Waiting for the full game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just be, be lying around doing nothing. Exactly. And this is what we don't want. Uh, so, yeah. And any leaks for Lotus? Um, since there's an, there, there's an early access, surely some people would have taken videos? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't actually haven't checked videos yet, but they definitely have been postings about it, um, which is interesting because uh, I think quite a few people on Fellowsfield forums, um, the official forum for like UK-based stuff, <coughs> for Romsey, um, quite a few people like kind of they, they seemed a bit hype, you know. But then you know after mm. they found out that this you know, is the price, of, yeah, you know the price was like you know whoosh, it's just sort of I guess people got really annoyed for it, yeah. Um, well, and then people are kind of steering clear at the moment. Yeah, it's such a shame, really, because it just kind of ruins it for me. And yeah. and um, what what what's the what's the release date looking like? <laughs> 2019. Really state, I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, it could be anywhere between now and a few months, I reckon. Oh, a few months. Oh, I was good. Oh, well, I suppose yeah, 2019 still. Um, but yeah, hopefully. Then again, I mean, yeah, you're probably right. I mean, if they've released an early access this soon, I mean. Yeah, it's got it's got to be in, in at least 2019. I'd say possibly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you oh, know, Bus Sim uh, 18 had the early access thing. And that was a good early access because it showed you, you know, loads of stuff. And it even had its own mini updates for um, different types of buses and stuff like that. This, if this doesn't have updates, people are not going to know what's in the game. You're not going to hype up people. And you're just going to end up sitting there kind of scratching your, your your heads thinking to yourself, why don't people want the game? Why don't they, why don't they want to buy it? Um, that would be early access, that is. And then, you know, they'll be reminded, oh, maybe we shouldn't have included an eight-minute tram line. It just goes round in circles. <laughs> Please say I hit that. Please say I hit that. Yes, I won that one. Excellent. I feel like, oh, he just went, oh, it's a shame. So yeah, Lotus. Um, have you seen? Yeah. So have you not seen any footage of the game? Um, I've. S don't th oh yeah, I have seen footage of the map edits, and it looks much easier. You actually see pictures of stuff. Believe <laughs> it or not, you see pictures of what you're gonna place down, rather than having to guess all the time. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, all the stuff in Obzi, it just makes it look odd. It just makes Obzi look stupid now. I mean, you know, if, if you just forget about all the early access stuff and you got yourself a bloody good game to kind of work around with, you know, seeing as most modes of transport will be included. Um, I don't think play is going to be included. I'm not sure, but definitely cable car. Um, you, you know what, actually? The most recent DLC on Omzi, uh, what Bursal, which I think is not released yet, I'm not sure, is going to have a cable car. Um, <laughs> which will be really interesting, so I might invest in that because it looks like a it looks like looks like it could be quite a um, interesting experience driving a cable car um, or monorail. I think I'm not sure. Yeah. Because um, honestly, I, I, like you know, I've never seen that type of functionality added to Omzi before. Um, I don't know. Even saying Omzi now, it just it's old. It's weird that like we're now moving back yeah. into the next yeah. generation. And um. And Lotus is made by the same company that made Omzi, right? Uh, yeah, well, um, not by the same people. Uh, there were two uh, main people who made Omzi. One of them is pissed off and won't actually do anything to help uh, because of an argument, I think, um, an unsettlement. But then the other, I think, was Marcel. Is still working on it? I think it was Marcel. I'm pretty sure it was Marcel. Yeah, Marcel Cute. Um, I think that that's how he pronounces it. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not German, so apologies if I pronounced it wrong. Yeah, uh, sorry. Myself, but, um, you know, he's doing a grand job of everything. Yeah, he's, well, uh, yeah. really. I mean, now he's actually got a bigger team of people, which helps, you know, instead of just two people. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. It seems, yeah. it seems like 
Well, I do. I really want there to be. I know this kind of sounds weird, but what I really want to see is, you know, Uber, right? You know how yeah. it's like a taxi service. I feel like I want to see maybe like a sort of taxi service, possibly in Omzi. I know this I sounds see, weird, yeah. but like since they have like apparently they might even have like roads of transport, like maybe a plane. I mean, I saw a picture of a plane on the website. I'm not too sure if there is planes on it, but like. They're off. Yeah. But yeah, but like it just has pictures of loads of different modes of transport, and it seems like there, you know, there could easily be something that surprises us. Yeah, I agree. I mean, for all we know, they could include literally every mode of transport. So car, taxi. You, you know, I think I definitely think with this DLC model, they're going to be adding, unfortunately, very pricey. Um, I think they're classing all the DLC as modules. So for each module or like route or add-on, there's going to be like different modes of transport because it's such a large format and it's going to be such a ridiculously um, powerful. Um, it's going to be a powerhouse in terms of simu simulating nearly every type of transport there is. There's going to be separate modules for everything, which is smart of them to do. To be honest. Oh, <laughs> oh, pardon me. As long as not all of them are thirty-two quid. Yes. Please don't charge seventy seventy oh, uh, gosh, dollars. Yeah. Slash thirty-two quid, Marcel. Please. And do you reckon? It's too expensive. And do you reckon they will charge players for each mode of transport? So, for example, um, if you look at games like we, if you look at games like we clubs and stuff, how they charge for every segment. So they charge you for boxing, for um, tennis. So do you reckon they do something like that with Omzi, where they charge you for say? They charge you for a tram, and then they charge you for a bus, so it's like extra DLC. Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon. And will you be annoyed if you see that? A bit. I mean, it, it depends. Again, it all depends on the price tag. Price and quality are two things on Steam that never seem to meet. Really? Anymore, which is a bit worrying, yeah. You're charging, like, for instance, Project Cars is 60 quid, yet it's almost exactly the same game as the previous project cars so it's like what are you getting this time this you know apart from the the, the ever so slightly upgraded graphics what are you getting instead and what's so, project's you know, cards I mean, uh, cars <laughs> project cars is a racing game that the first one kind of didn't really do a good job of what he was supposed to you know simulate racing and it was just basically this this kind of flop at the start but it looks like they've taken, you know, a lot of people's feedback, I think, um, and they've made it into quite a smashing game. Um, hi there, Sam. Welcome to the stream. Is that Sam Rogers? Yeah. Um, why was there a, <laughs> why was there a class 66? Uh, oh, hey, Sam. Why that was running by itself, but you know. Hey, Sam Rogers. Thanks for, like, your support on both of our channels because you are one of those people who you just seem to like comment on most of our videos and that just really helps because it keeps like the morale going and it also helps because like if you think about it when you're making youtube videos you really need that bit of ambition you need that feedback because you can make videos and get zero views and it just doesn't really feel like you're getting that extra I feedback completely agree. yeah do you know what i mean yeah, so definitely thanks a lot, Sam, for all your support towards me and um, Warwick. Because, you know, seriously, I, you know, I, I feel you, Warwick. I mean, I remember when I used to have, like, was it like 12 subscribers? He sat there for, like, I'm not even joking, a few weeks. Then suddenly there's, like, a spike. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, this is brilliant. But then there's, like, a decrease, then there's a spike. But then you realise there's, like, sometimes there are patterns like on your channel if you see a good like kind of healthy pattern um in terms of like views and subscribers then do you reckon it's normal to go down in views sometimes um yeah it's completely normal i mean you wouldn't expect to always get um uh, i definitely wouldn't expect to always get 1000 views on video within three weeks yeah, you get some of those really good hits. Like, for example, one of my friend's videos, he normally gets around averaging 30 views. But, you know, some some of his videos have got, like, 900 views. <coughs> so, yeah. So, it, it just, yeah. So, it does spike up the average a bit. 
but yeah, his average. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Yeah, so it's just like sometimes you have good hits, and such as if you watch my podcast, um, you might know someone called Duval. He's my uh, co-host. His channel, he does like stuff on media events and like comments on stuff. And he made this video about a sporting event thing, and it got thirty thousand views. And also, his his video was monetized, so he got quite a lot of money for that. And well, yeah, you can have these spikes in your channel, and then as soon as you go back to your next video, it's like back to fifty views or whatever. Yeah. And of course, if you're getting 30,000 views, you're getting at least, like, 20 subscribers at least. Do you know what I mean? So what you really want to do is get some videos about, like, trending topics. And that will just increase your views by, you know, however much. It's a shame much. that you can't just do something on YouTube. I mean, it, unless you're lucky. It's a shame you can't just do sort of stuff that's unique it's like you have to cut it seems like you just have to always commonly follow a trait that's started on youtube it's really annoying i don't know why what do you mean <laughs> like it seems like these days you can't just make something that's different why not so like well i mean you can but i mean like if you want to like gain subscribers and stuff like that um not really like fast or something like that not really then it just seems like i don't know just I, I feel like I feel like it's good. I feel like you I, when you say when you say unique, do you mean like how everyone says you know, hey guys, and then they end it off? Is that what you're talking about? Like the traditions of YouTube? Yeah, it just seems a bit samey. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's like you know. I suppose that this is just how YouTube has developed as a culture, and it's dying to yeah, as you said, get a bit samey because we've been doing this for like you know a decade now. You know, mm. and and also, oh, what was I gonna say? Also, I was gonna say I have to kind of disagree with you there because I feel like the best thing to have on YouTube is have a unique channel. I mean, that's how a lot of channels grow is by being unique. No, no, that's what I'm saying. What do you mean? I thought you said I thought you said a lot of chat. I thought you said you can't be unique now. No, no, no. no I'm saying like I just feel like there's not enough uniqueness. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying yeah, like. Sorry. You, oh, all right then. Because maybe it was just me, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, like, if you don't, I just feel like if you don't have enough, enough uniqueness, then the site just feels like you're just going through the same shit each time, and it's just not very, not very interesting. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, but, um, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, if you, by the way, guys, you know, go ahead. I mean, like, if you want to make videos about, I don't know, uh, Jacob Sartorius being Jacob Sartorius and being an idiot, then go ahead and make videos about Jacob Sartorius being Jacob Sartorius and being an idiot. I mean, like, you know, just do whatever, what I'm saying is do whatever you want, you know, just, I just, you know, just what I'm saying is I just feel like everyone's doing the same thing, it just feels a bit, it's just a bit boring at the moment, but, you know, things always change over time, and, you know, especially, <coughs> you know, we see within, you know, the in the year, in the um, in the years that YouTube has been around, like you know, all the way from two thousand five, it's just kind of it's you know, there's been obviously huge, huge changes um, in terms of oh no, oh no, oh no, what have I done? What happened? Sorry, I've just spit. Uh, I sped. Damn it! I'm, I'm just playing Train Simulator. And I was going over the speed limit. Um, too much. Oh, is there a speed limit on it? Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know. Is there actually speed limits on, like, trains and stuff? I suppose there has to be, kind of. Or not. Yeah. You've been... Oh. Okay, so we won that, guys, and that was an excellent game. Went well. <laughs> it sounds like a lawnmower. What does? The train I'm driving, the, uh... Valenza, is that uh, a bad thing? No, no, no. It's, it's just it's so realistic to the real thing. It's actually mad. It's as if I was going back to Nottingham um, as I did on Sunday. <laughs> Nottingham.
You know what Nazi reminds me of? That old um, Disney version of Robin Hood. Why? Because obviously he was based in Nottingham. Yeah, that's true, but... That's a good film, that is. <laughs> Classic. Also, guys, please do, if you're interested, check out my own Twitter account. It's Warwick Games 2003, at Warwick Games. And, yeah, if you want, like, um, some instant updates on what I'm doing, what I'm getting up to in my life, and my opinions and stuff just look it up i've got thousands of posts well hundreds well say tens of posts on there so you check it out hi south london transport welcome to the stream and i feel like streams and like twitter is easier because it's quite instant see when you make a video you have to edit it and stuff and when twitter and live streams you can just instantly give an update Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, some channels literally just do streams. <coughs> that is very true, yeah. They get tons of, you know, um, views. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, Absolute classic. Not, uh, I hope it's not classic, mate, because that was a poor shot. <laughs> Poor shot. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, mate. So, um, yeah, so, how, how's your day been again? You've been uh, getting up too much because really. you're, you're a bit ill. Yeah, I've had to stay off. Uh, I'm going to have to stay off tomorrow as well, unfortunately. But um, I, I'll hopefully should be in by about uh, Friday or Monday. This is a really long route. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I've got the angle in it. I mean, I might have the angle, but whether or not I'll get it in. Oh, too far. Started a Bedford salmon. Thank you. Yeah, that power was <laughs> just too much. I'm heading towards uh, St Pancras because unfortunately you can't drive from St Pancras to Nottingham or Derby or Chesterfield or Leeds <laughs> or Wakefield or York so that's or Scunthorpe. Where's Scunthorpe? Or Scott, oh, actually, no, Scarborough's not on the. Um, Scunthorpe is in. I think it's Yorkshire, isn't it? No, that's Giggleswick. Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm, just, I'm just joking, guys. Um, Absolute classic. Nah, G Giggleswick is like a really crap. Well, not. Alright, fair enough. Not crap because I was featured in my blog. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe I just said that. Um, to be fair, guys, there's literally nothing in it. If you have a look at my vlog, I forgot which one it was. We went to Giggles with literally. I think, I think it was number three. Oh, really? Yeah, literally, cup, couple of cottages, that's it. <laughs> Not really interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. But, I mean, it's a good walk, and yeah. Um, so. Oh, Sam, London Euston, I think it had been added to the game. But I think it was only recently. Also, the Bakerloo line's coming to Train Simulator, so look out for that. The Bakerloo line? That's good. Yes. yes. It's going to be a joint route of the, you know, the Virgin Pendolino? Yep. They're going to add that, the route all the way from London to, I think it's York? Ridiculously long that route. That is a long and route. And they're going to add Bakerloo line. And Bakerloo, I tell you what. Absolutely. You can't really get much better than that. I mean, unless you're doing, say, a route in... I, I feel like maybe an exotic route. Apart from that, you probably can't get much better. I need to practice controlling this, because I'm, I'm really bad at controlling HSTs. Because if this is how it is in real life, I would have just failed. I would have oh. failed absolutely everything from the start. Oh, because you're driving THT. THC, sorry, getting that wrong. Those can be harder, you know. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, I, w- I would buy WCML, um, the West Coast Mainline, South Extension. But sadly, due to Dovetail Games' stupid practice of business, um, I can't actually do that unless I buy £55 worth of DLC first. So Excellent. It's free and then it's not free at the same it's time. It's like, well, I mean, it's not really free. I mean, it's free. Yeah, it's not really free, but it's I mean, free, yeah. I mean, it's free, but it's not really free. Hmm. So it doesn't really make much sense. So basically, don't get it. Yeah, unless you've got the DLC already, and then, you know, obviously all of you, you know, I'm guessing will have the DLC um, yeah. you need for the extension to work. The Bakerloo line train actually looks like a Bakerloo line train, which is, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. a, a save. Yeah. And it means we don't have to play BB4 or open BB just to, you know, play on the underground, which is good. I wonder if they're going to start doing this as a thing now for Train Simulator, because I would like to see it a lot more, you know? Seeing how they implemented the District Line and the Piccadilly Line in, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. One thing I can't stand, though, is this thing with the frames it's really and the, and the buffering it's just buffering. i don't know i think the pentium's probably not going to be able to handle um oh this stuff. no crumbs 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 what's all this talk about crumbs well i just lost <laughs> oh no oh crumbs oh, gosh. Oh. 17 miles to go, guys. Hopefully sometime within the next few years we'll get to St. Pancras. St. Pancras. In a couple of years, yeah, sure. Um, that's going to take a long time, so maybe might want to stop the stream. No, oh, well. well, my head's hurting and my stomach keeps rumbling. It's all good. Oh, wow. So how long do you reckon you'll stream for today? Do you reckon you've got long in you? I'll stream until about, I reckon, 10.45. That's quite that's quite precise. I love precision. Oh, much like the Dell precision. <laughs> that's actually quite a good laugh. Actually, no, that no, that. Well, well, it's all right. Well, it's not really. It's not really a good laptop, is you know, it? I mean, it might not be a good. I mean, don't quote me on this. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I've. Seen, you know what? It reminds me of those. You know those old laptops that were so massive. Even put them in a bag. Yeah, like the ones, like the ones we used to have in, like probably when I was in reception with it. You know the what? Well, not sp- kind of like that, like not boxy, but like quite thick. Like you know, monitor. It's like a monitor, but like a thick mo- monitor. That's what we used to have. And Windows yeah, XP. Same. Windows XP. Windows XP. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Favourite sounds. Favourite system. It's like we're old men talking about, <laughs> oh, back in the good old days when XP was popular. Yeah. <laughs> i tell oh, you what. Good old oh, XP. oh, my God. I used to love that picture with the field. And then it used to go like this. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> that was just, oh, my gosh. Yeah. And you know the, the classic picture of a field? Yeah. Windows XP field. So we're playing against someone from Egypt, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. It's amazing yeah. how you can play against people who are all over the world. It's really, it's actually kind of cool. I suppose, yeah. But, but like, I suppose same with any game. Of course, you can play. Yeah, that, that yeah, actually, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Well, it sounds good, South London Transport. You know what? The, uh, the blinds for the Alexander 400 are an absolute pain to develop for. Because you keep missing out... Um, well, I <coughs> you find yourself missing out the... Um, the... Uh, what was it? The like the guidelines. And then you end up having like the five kind of... Going over the, like, yeah. the side of the blind. And it just, well, just doesn't really match up. And it's really annoying. You know, but, you know. Wait, what do you mean by the side of a blind? Do you side want of a blind, your view? Like the, the front blinds, the uh, destination thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, and always keep on on schedule. I got a second. It didn't give. Did it? Did it not give me a? Uh, it didn't give me a signal then to stop. Oh. And so we have 
need we well we need to like pop the remaining balls so this is gonna be kind of hard okay I'd say this much there we go uh, another bank shot actually that was shot bank shot we're never going to get to St Pancras, are we? We're just going to be sitting here for the rest of time. I feel like possibly making some like real life eight ball pool videos. How do you? How would you guys think of that? Like maybe that I could actually give, be really cool. Yeah, like maybe I could give some tips or whatever. <laughs> no, Greater Anglia can't get rid of my three two one. They've got the smiling face on them. And I don't want them to. What know. does that actually, mean? No, that's the three six five, isn't it? What does um, that mean? Great Angle is a train operator, and they might be. Oh, wow! I've only just realised how how much that actually looks like. What the real? The, yeah, this is actually the, my favourite part of the route. Is just here. Okay, so we go. Well, that actually does look like the M1. For oh once. my well god! I was snookered to sh smithereens. I wasn't even snookered. Were you smithereens I, to snookering? I, I literally, I was so confused. I thought I was on the, on the eight ball. And really, I, I need to watch that back. For that clip. Because, yeah. I, I don't know what happened there, guys. Also, guys, please comment uh, your thoughts below of uh, me making a real life eight ball pool vid. Because that would be interesting. And also, please subscribe while you're here. Just uh, because you might forget the channel name. Which would be a shame. I might leave my channel. What power does this? Does it use third row? How is this even going? <laughs> is it just moving by itself on its own power? So I'm guessing. Oh, maybe it's because it has an engine, actually. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, to be honest, guys. I mean, I, I mean, how would it be generating any amps? There, there must be something I'm missing, like some type of power source. There we so, go. Uh, Another win. Like Another win in the bag. Excellent. Excellent, excellent stuff. Excellent. Oh, she wants to play again. Oh, she just left. Wow. Oh, I see. It's a diesel. Oh, of course. That makes sense, doesn't it? It used the perfect. Let's do a scratch and win, guys. Let's see. Oh, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll, we'll do this in a minute. I want to play. How are these still in service? Just like we'll play they got Sydney. the three seven threes from Eurostar said, "Oh, they're unfit for service." They could have easily just moved on to another route. Yours. Yet they have the nerve to tell me that these are still running on the uh, the Midland Main Line. Come on, guys! It's absolute disgrace. Seems like an absolute disgrace. Right, we're coming into. Central London Territory now. Oh dear. This must be such a pain to control in real life. It really is like this. You've got to wait for the engine to boot up. And then you've got to start all over oh, again. Oh yeah, don't, don't. Sounds like a nightmare. You know what? I'll just leave the power off. Or I'll notch one. And yes, then... so guys. Please do uh, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Because... We've got some very interesting videos lined up. For example, um, might be making a podcast as well, because the intro podcasts has almost met its deadline. I should be making at least one every week. So, got I agree, Sam. These have ridiculous breaks. They're almost as bad as the Kuju One Six Six. Um, yes, I was at Holloway bus garage, uh, South London Transport. <coughs> oh my god, I potted like three balls by accident. Or two of them by accident. One of them was my colour. Whoosh. Are any of you guys going to show bus? Because uh, I'm definitely going. What does that mean? Show bus uh, 2018. Oh, Derby, so they're uh, showing... Darlington. Oh, wow, Derby's quite... not. It's not really up north, but, like, it's north and... It's, it's not really. It's not really up north, but it's I, kind of... I don't know. I feel like it 
well, I mean, I feel like it could be up north. Well, not up north, but like, I mean, it's north, but it's not up north. If you yeah, it's, it's well, oh, that scenery is just oh, for goodness, miles off. I mean, it's just a black hole you've entered. I almost accidentally, I almost accidentally <laughs> um, uh, well, potted my ball because it got a fluke in, but. No, didn't get the lucky fluke, unfortunately. And uh, who's on your stream, by the way? Um, I've got South London Transport, Sam Rogers, and I think two other people as well. So hello to the two other people. If they're just watching. It's ready. Yeah. Two miles. Oh my gosh! See the power of the HST. Um, yeah, guys, if you have any, you. if you have any suggestions, like you'd prefer to play me the old, the new version of April Pool, or you want to challenge me. Just uh, you know, comment in the live stream chat, and I will fulfil your destiny. Your what, what, yeah, I suppose. Oh, the brakes on this suck a lot. Does it? I was playing um, a game. It was a simulator on um, you know that oh, you know that website you did that. Um, but a bus route you made. Oh yeah. 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 What's that called? <coughs> Bello Map Maker. Yeah. So he has his own like online uh, bus simulator, and it's kind of good. A uh, train simulator, and I kind of liked it. It's quite good. Oh yeah, I know the one you mean. Yeah, that's prehistoric. But yeah, oh. it's pretty good. <laughs> but it is free though. I know it's prehistoric, but it is free. Mind you, you could probably run to Trade Simulator on your um, your setup because you got mm, a Mac, haven't you? Yeah, I don't know if it can handle it, mate. To be honest, definitely can I barely mean, handle you've got the... iMovie at the moment. <laughs> no, mate. Look, if you can handle iMovie, you can definitely handle Train Simulator. All you need is a processor that you have because um, all Mac seems to have that Turbo Boost technology. Thing so is, I don't want to. I don't want to buy. A invest money in the game just to see it go the way Fortnite did. What happened was guys I bought, well I didn't buy Fortnite but I downloaded Fortnite right and oh my gosh I've never seen my computer lag so much in my life uh, and I'm so dumb for even thinking that Macs were good for PC gaming. Jack Sparrow says next time play in phone. Yes um, if, if you do subscribe um, and you put that, uh, what do you mean as like a comment suggestion then, if you remind me, uh, next what do you call it? Next stream, I will make um, an app stream. Although the the what do you call it? The speech will be a bit delayed because you know the app. My iPad has to uh, go on QuickTime, and then QuickTime has to go to uh, the stream. So my voice will be like slightly ahead. Is there a three one minus? How does? Also, if you're wondering, I am streaming with uh, London City Lapser, which is my fellow friend. So, if you can hear someone in the background, uh, yeah, I'm just on a call with him, and we are collabing because I feel like it's better doing a stream with someone else because, like, you have more things to talk about. Yeah. Like gold. That's horrible. What do you think of possibly like Nintendo's future plans for 3DS lineup? Because it seems like they they literally they they made a new free well the 2DS the new 2DS was like launched last year and it was like the revival of like the 3DS system. So what do you reckon the future plan? Do you reckon they'll neglect it? Yeah. Sure to be Even honest. after new Nintendo 2DS, which was last October, I think Nintendo are so hyped. They're as, about as hyped as all of those serious Nintendo fans out there, and they're letting their heads into the clouds a bit in terms of releasing 50 things at once, which is what they didn't learn learn from before, which is a bit annoying to be honest. Um, and I don't think there was any point of having the new Nintendo 2DS even if it was for a cheaper price point you could have just released a 
even though you more water, uh, water with down it. though, you know that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> um, what were you gonna say? Water down version. Don't hit the buffers. Oh gosh. What an interesting train that was. Anyway, yeah, I've got to work on. So yeah, the <laughs> future. <laughs> Three one nine used to go here, but they don't go here anymore. So why is it there? The future of Nintendo seems uncertain. Definitely, I mean the way we're going, they're just probably just gonna bag up the two DS and then run off. Nah, mate, they've already bagged off the online mode because the online service is absolutely terrible because they're carrying on the app, and that's so prehistoric, as you said. It's like kind of like more primitive. It. It always seems like Nintendo seems to like be a bit primitive, which really does is is more of a hindrance. Yeah, I mean this online stuff is is terrifying. Who uses an app? I mean, Who uses an app to talk on on a console? We've already seen they're capable of doing it. Sorry, I did say this last stream, but they all we already know they're capable of making of of doing a game chat on the system uh, on Fortnite. So why don't they just bring that to other games instead of having this stupid like middleman? We we want to cut the middleman and just talk to people directly without having to download and add them on the stupid app. Gets on my nerves. Yes, it's really. Um... And they even continued it on the presentation. They made a cartoon about it, um, sponsoring it. It just really it really annoyed most people. And they haven't learned their mistakes. I'm getting really. I saw the trailer for um, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. All right, first I've got quite a few questions here. First of all, why do you have the U in there? You don't want the repeat of the past. You exactly, that's what I said last stream. And if if you, I know I, can, I say this, but if you check out my did Nintendo Direct live up to its expectations video, you'll see basically me talk about everything that we're talking about right now in that video and more so yeah check it out yeah i don't understand what nintendo are, are trying to sorry man i'm gonna have to stop streaming a bit i don't feel i don't feel well i'll, yeah. I'll do this and then of course yeah i'm gonna have to head off i think sorry it's all right so yeah this guy has got couple of good achievements he's, oh, oh my gosh he's got 65% win percentage that is really good 65% and he's played quite a few games so yeah what were you saying about Nintendo's new edition well kind of new nin, uh, Mario U Deluxe new Super Mario Bros U bit repetitive yeah, it's, it's, they're kind of just, they're, they're feeding the past too much. They're not feeding the yeah, future. Yeah, it seems like they just go into their old library and pretty much repeat the games to save money. It's like we just... Uh, they, they've done this so with the 3DS. They've done quite a lot of ports. The 3DS. And you know what? Oh, yeah, Sam was saying that he people a, a DSi and he barely uses it anymore. Sorry? What did you say? Sam, um, Sam said he, he bought a DSi and he barely uses it anymore, like uh, back when it was like fairly... Well, how long did he use it for, though? Because, I I'm mean, sure. I'm sure people bought... P yeah, I'm sure people bought Xbox 360s when it was popular and probably don't play it now. But as long as you got, you know, the, the good... As long as you played on your 2D DSi for a long time when it was out, although it doesn't seem like you have a positive opinion... But I feel like the DSi, I don't know. What do you think about the DSi? The DSi, I never actually really got around, got my head around it. I, I already knew it was like basically a more buffed up version of, of the DS. But it's kind of this weird, it's stuck in a yeah, weird time. Yeah, it is before. weird because they haven't even... Came out yeah. yeah, they haven't even got exclusive DSi games. I think they've got like five or something, and they're actually quite wet, rare. It's really weird. Like, yeah. you know how they have 3DS games that take advantage of 3DS software? They didn't have any for the DSi. Didn't seem good. 
actually, I don't need the uh, HUD because I like the room. Yay! Rank the admin. And yeah, London, London City Lapse, you should definitely, like, join the podcast for uh, edition. If you have any, like, topics you want to talk about. Are you there? Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, oh I kind of feel sorry. Kind of feel sorry for this guy now, because <coughs> he hasn't got any coins left. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, just uh, comment down below. And I'm now playing against the Son of the Lord Jesus. So Jesus must be quite good. London City Lapsy, you suddenly gone mute. Nah, sorry. It's just because I'm concentrating on the uh, the game. I know there's a lot of multitasking tasking involved in Omzi. No, I'm uh, playing uh, Train Simulator. Oh, just exclusive. Yeah, it's like I'm, 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 uh, this is like the first time I've actually loaded a route on um. Train simulator, so. Oh yeah. What do you think of train simulator? Don't you think it could be a bit boring? It's very old. <laughs> yeah, it's very boring. Because um, all you're all you're doing is pressing stop and and go and stop. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's very it's very um uninteresting. If you have a route that's long and it's actually good, then I guess it's all right. But this is why I don't play this game that much. And how much was it? Um. Oh, I bought this. Uh, Years ago, uh, 2012, I think. Oh, really? Uh, I think it was about 17 quid. Oh, I didn't know you were playing simulators then. <laughs> Did you ever tell me you used to play simulators? I don't think so, because I knew you back then, so. Of course. Was that your first simulator you bought? Um, It might have been, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I think there's a. BB4, yeah, I agree, Sam. Fastest section of the route is always the best. And <laughs> I mean, it, we actually go past Inside Bus's um, headquarters. All right, we've got to start slowing down. Oh, no, what, TFL? Headquarters. Yeah, they're kind of like a mix between part of TFL and not part of TFL. They operate in um, London, um, like the London zone, but... Do you, do you reckon there's... Do you reckon there's a gap in the market for any, like, new bus companies? Yeah, I mean, it's just stuff is just way more expensive these days. Yeah, it's harder to start off. You need at least, like, a million to start off a bus company. And that's if you want one bus or two buses, and then you only be left with 200 left. And obviously it's... Two <laughs> buses, that is. You can't get buses for as cheap as £1,000, but... Are you joking? <coughs> no. What you mean, like really, like bad ones, like old ones that need repairing and stuff, and then you still probably got to pay at least like ten grand in repairs. Not really. I mean, if it's in good nick, you can literally just no. you know set off and go. You reckon you could buy a bus for a thousand pound? Are you sure about that? Yeah, but it's, it's obviously like ones from two thousand two. You know, very old. All oh, right. 
Um, but, uh, you know, to start off a bus company would be kind of cool. Yeah, I'd love to, but no, unfortunately, I'll, never, I'll most likely never have the finances. Suppose you could take a loan out, but even these days, you know, they're quite stingy with the uh, lending process. What that you is true, what yeah. you want to do is go to Dragon's Den and see if they invest. <coughs> yeah, that is true. Then again, I think Dragon's Den's more aimed towards like uh, things that you sell. Like it's more like yeah. if you have like an invention or whatever it is, or well, not an invention. Well, I suppose. So, I suppose you'll leave in like five minutes then? Yeah. Because, you know, if you're a bit ill, you don't want to really be going on computer too much. Yeah, definitely. Because it just tires me out. Yeah. I wanted to do one today because, you know, just felt like it. Also, finally, after about four days of waiting, I got my um, podcast verified on iTunes. So, if you want to download it on iTunes for whatever reason, be my guest. I don't know yeah, how. Sounds good. I don't know I'm how good. to search up analytics on um, iTunes. I think you can. But I don't know how to. You, you can't really, but you know, you may be able to. I, I, I mean, I don't really know. I mean, I know you can. Well, I mean, you might not be able to. I don't know. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. You explained it right there. This room's very difficult. Uh, I don't like the way they use the system where it's so hard to actually know what you're doing. Mm hmm. For some reason, this guy's called Rehab. I don't really understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I say that, he's got 58% win percentage. Excellent. He's, and he also won quite a few tournaments, and let's not, oh, my tournaments, oh, that is steep. Whatever you guys do, do not this look at my much. tournament stats. Do not look at my tournament stats, because they are not good. What happened? Uh, man, I'm going to have to go, it's too much. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, the thing is... If I was well, I'd be able to multitask and do everything, but I can't. This <laughs> is making my head hurt. Yeah, I noticed that, because you weren't saying much. Well, yeah. I hope London City Laps has a full recovery. It seems like you get ill quite often. Yeah, it's because I've, I've, I've got a bit of a dodgy immune system, which is not very good, but, you know, I need more vitamins. Alright, well, you get you going to eat some meat and get your vitamins. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'll go and get my vitamins with mates. Of course, of course. And yeah, so everyone, um, go and check out uh, London City's... Uh, crap, <laughs> I just lost. Um, go and check out London City's uh, YouTube channel. And please like his content if you are into like niche kind of bus channels. If you like TFL and interested. So yeah, and we'll see you later. Yeah, speak to you soon, uh, Morick Games. And speak to you soon, everyone who watched... Um the stream um sam south london transport and everyone else yeah and also um, danny the pancake so or, yeah yeah thanks um i recommend as i say at the end of every stream and i will keep on saying it head over to um warwick games's channel right now if you want to go and have a look at some eight ball pool um it's a really nice little mini game on a mini clip so yeah just you know just head over to his one i guess so see you guys soon I most likely won't be doing a stream for quite a while. I know I said this yesterday, but today How is long? just a one-off. How long do you reckon? A I week? reckon up to up to a week. Uh, but obviously, I'll be doing videos within that time. But, oh really? Um, oh, actually, I can't do it because I've got a bowling tournament this weekend. Oh, the one excellent. time that I've actually got the motive. Okay. I suppose well, I'll, I'll I'll you could, could do it tomorrow. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Um, I will do it tomorrow. I'll try my best to do it tomorrow. Uh, okay. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see yeah. you soon. Um, go and join Warwick Games' stream for now.
Okay, guys, so that was um, London City Lapses uh, featuring. Um, please, yeah. Uh, so that was a collaboration. Normally collab with him, actually. I hope you enjoy, like, us talking and stuff. So, yeah. Um, let's have a look at this guy's profile. And he's got a kind of okay win percentage. Um, he seems like a in. He seems like. Oh, he's actually quite good, actually. He's a grandmaster. Well, actually, no, I take that back. He's quite good. Let's see his skills. Let's see if he's got any good skills now. Oh, Sam Rogers, thanks a lot for tuning in. And I hope you're having a great day. Okay, so um, let's see which we can get next. Oh, gosh. Uh, there we go. Excellent. I mean, just just in there, we just got it. Whew, I'm I'm kind of used to being solids, to be totally honest. Oh no! Didn't go in. It literally just hit the sides. That's really annoying. Um, so yeah, guys, please do check out my Twitter account, Work Games Two Thousand Three at Work Games. Um, just got some, uh, you know, updates on what I'm doing, what I'm getting up to, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. And this is my podcast. Check it out, Work Games Two Thousand Three. Uh, my series is called. Um, media and lifestyle like media and lifestyles so if you just type that into iTunes it will come up with a picture of a snowy icy background and that will be my podcast series yeah and the white ball always seems to manage to get in which is really annoying yeah, this one will probably win now. He's got an open table and he's good at potting. He can't really lose. I'll be very surprised if he loses. Very surprised. He's just got to make sure he gets out of this. Yeah, he's... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We've got a bit of... We've got a, a bit... You know, we've got a bit of leeway here. Let's make the most of it. Oh no, I don't know if that will go in, to be honest. Okay, let's see if, if we can win this. Okay, so... Right, hmm... Okay, so stop, 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 stop. Yes, we got quite lucky there because we literally, oh, maybe we're not. Oh, hang on. Yes. It, oh, that's too much, isn't it? Well, try my best. I try my best. That's not going to go in. Have not got the angle. Not got the angle, unfortunately. And uh, mm. that could uh, possibly let us go. That could possibly lead us to losing this game and I'll be very surprised if it doesn't as I said 
Sam Rogers said, started playing again today, had to as I haven't in weeks. Yeah, you do get, you do start to like get in like the tradition of playing it. Um, I haven't, to be honest, I haven't been playing it too much recently. Uh, we could be playing forever. And now, as I promised, guys, we will do one scratch card to uh, round this video off. Okay, let's see if we can get anything good. Five thousand. Let's see if we can get five thousand then. I'm hoping we can get five thousand to be totally honest. Oh, now this one will determine whether we are oh, it's 150, of course. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Now that's what you get. That's what you get when you do scratch cards. Uh, don't recommend scratch cards, guys. Unfortunately, London City Lapsa says hello. Well, hello, London City Lapsa. I hope you're doing all right. And yeah, on that note, guys, I will see you. Um, I hope you have a good day. Uh, I don't know whether we should do. I feel like we should do one more game just to round it off. Uh, we should play for 2.5. Last game, just to round it off. Onyema. See where they are from. Senegal. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever heard of that country before. I think that might be in Asia though. Wish me luck, guys, because, yeah, exactly, good luck. Thank you, Sam Rogers. So this is our last game of today. Gosh. Let's see their win percentage, so 48.2. 48.2 isn't the best. Sengal is in Africa. North Africa? No. Nah. Central? No, nah, not Central. What? Which part of Africa? Because that is a big continent. Sounds like it could be. It sounds... Yeah. It definitely could... It definitely does sound like an African country. For some reason, I thought it was an Asian country country I don't know why there we go got it in the bag Yeah, so near Ivory Coast. Huh. Trust you to know that, um, Sam Rogers. Now, now, um, Sam Rogers, how did your GCSE go? I mean, your test go? Because I heard something like you were taking a test. Did it go good? Because uh, we had to wish you quite a lot of luck. Oh wow, still nothing. What a... I feel like not really a lot of people use Twitter that much anymore. I feel like it did spike in popularity when Donald Trump started to post on that. But now I feel like it's dropping again in users. So I know I'm very hesitant to get it, but maybe I might get Instagram, like an Instagram account for my uh, YouTube. 
if you guys think that would be good to have an Instagram for my YouTube, please do uh, comment below if you think I should. Okay, so hopefully we uh, win this. Oh gosh, this is stressful. No! Oh, that was a newbie shot. Too amateurish, actually. Um, yeah, it went good I passed English. Thanks for the support. You're very welcome, Sam Rogers. And thank you for the support on this channel. Yeah, I'm so happy for you. I hope it all went well and you got what you deserved and you got what you wanted. Okay. So. This guy's. Okay, so that wasn't really a smart shot, but he did get lucky. There we go. I tell you what, I, I couldn't have done better there. Could not have done better. Excellent, excellent. Now.